My first guest uh, has been introduced so many times, there's, there's hardly anything left that you can say about her. Her talent is uh, recognized the world over. She's been a friend of mine for some years, and I, I hope for quite a few years to come. She has a television special, which will air next Tuesday, which also happens to be, I found out, her 13th wedding anniversary. Would you welcome Miss Lucille Ball. Tiny Tim and me. I, <laughs> I don't know anybody who would get any any bigger hand than that than just walking around the corner and sitting I've been watching I know down. who gets a big hand. Oh? Yeah. Yeah? Oh. I know a lot of them. Hey, you look, uh, that's that's very smart. I you like that. Did, huh? But don't touch me. Don't. You said that last time that's I was right, I remember I recently I got said, it from don't you. touch me. You know, me. I watch everything you do. Do you really? Yeah. I, I don't miss very many shows. Even the ones you're not on. <laughs> you hang in there. No, no way. I'm fine, darling. Don't touch him. Yeah, I know, you right. touched him the other night and he got a nosebleed. <laughs> you saw the show, I you did see it. I saw the show, I think you're terrible. Grown man was sitting here, I didn't touch his nose, I reached over and gave him a little tweak. You know tweak. who I love, that little Robert Blake, you watch, oh, oh, he'll hate that little, he's a big, he's a giant. Robert Blake, I Isn't love Isn't he super? Him. I love him. Yeah, he's a fine actor and he I says I love a, a strange group of people that you have on, like Fernando Lamas. If I miss Fernando Lamas or Truman Capote or Rex Reed, I have a fit. And Rex Reed doesn't even like me. Really? Has he panned you? Oh, yes, sure. And rightly so. Yeah? But uh, you have a lot of people. You know what? J.P. Morgan has changed, and I'm so sorry. I mean, she's become... She got a religion or something. She became she, dignified and nice. I, well, I don't know if it's dignity that she got, but she, she stopped being J.P. Morgan that I knew. What has she got? Not measles. No. No, she was... A, I think she thought that she was being a little unfeminine when she came on the show. And people mistook, you know, she used to be, come on and say, hey, how's your, and she was a little abrupt. And I think she thought that people thought she was unfeminine. Oh, I thought she was adorable. Yeah. Now, anyway, how's Ooh. your wife? Which one? <laughs> I how's said your it husband? before Which you one? did. Yeah. You, well, you know, Joanna is wife, fun. and yes. I love her, and give her my love. I will. She did, uh, she did the Merv Griffin show last week with some other gals. I heard that. Well, I, I missed that show, and I'm so, I think I'm sorry. I'm not sure. Yeah. Do you buy a lot of clothes? Are you, you, Do I? I make all my clothes. Oh, I come sew. on. I have oh, my own workroom. I, I can see sew. you sitting I in there with it. I don't sew them. I have my own workroom, and I have for many, many years. And you have slaves that live there and make them? <laughs> I know you have a workroom. I know you have six slaves, or seven slaves, Johnny. Slaves, Johnny. <laughs> slaves. Well, I can't see you getting a jiffy pattern out and saying, well, now, let's see Well, you know, the now. type of show that I did, I didn't have to be high fashion. Right. And uh, so the, the Lucy clothes were very simple. Right. And for these type of things, we make them uh, ourselves. We go to the, to the international or the whatever store, we buy the material right. and we, we, we make them. I have mm. my own workroom, accept it or not, John. <laughs> <laughs> do you actually go in there and do things yourself? Yeah. Yeah. So who you got on your special coming up? Art Carney, on. the love oh. of the world. Art Carney, he's a real special guy. We had to cut about 40 minutes from the show just to keep in his shtick. Yeah. But it's so great, you know, you've been with him. Right. He is marvelous. I think it's a show that you're going to enjoy. It's not a regular Lucy show. And I think that uh, it's called Happy Anniversary and Goodbye. And I hope it's not prophetic because it happens on our anniversary, Gary's and mine. Right. So 13, I hope it's 13 not years. prophetic. 13 years, happy anniversary and goodbye. Mm. Anyway. What is, it, what is the 13th? I mean, you know. Tuesday. Not, no, I know that. <laughs> what did you no, mean? No, but you know, there's, there's, the, there's the paper, the wooden, the, the oh, silver, Oh, I don't know. I've been asking that. I don't think they give you anything for 13th. Hey, I silly putty, I think. Uh, <laughs> silly putty. Silly putty on silly the 13th. Silly putty would be good, yes. I think the 10th, the 20th, the 20th, 25th, something like that. I've asked that question. I get no answers. Nobody silly putty's the best I've had. Well, you can get, get a nice necklace of silly putty or something like that. I get necklaces all the time. I, I, Gary's a nut. He buys diamonds. Oh, he bought this. See? See he's a nut on diamonds. Oh, that's nice. That's anyway, nice. how's your sex life? <laughs> how's your bird? What do you mean? How's my, <laughs> my, 
<laughs> well, I figure if there's a commercial coming up, you know, it's a, you don't have to give an answer. Okay, well, let me think of one. All right. Uh, or, or we'll see how my sex life is during the break. Uh, we'll come back to this most poignant of moments right after the break. <laughs> now, you won't believe what we're talking about, right? Everybody feels everybody in Hollywood are probably sitting around talking about a glamorous party or who did you see so-and-so or did you hear about the gossip? You know what we're talking about. <laughs> she says, I heard you say on the air the other day you had mealybugs in your plants at home. <laughs> now, how did you get rid of them? That is our, dis that's our big racy discussion during the break here where everybody thinks, hey, the latest Hollywood the gossip. Denatured alcohol is diluted. Uh, yes, you can do it either way. Just get a bottle of denatured alcohol, okay. very good for mealybugs, and you take a little cotton. All right. And you take your plants and rub your plants. Okay. That's true. That's what you do. Watch your language. Then, no, that's... Where's Doc? Um, Hello, Tommy. Hi. Doc's got a little touch of the flu. Oh, I'm sorry. So are we. And, uh... <laughs> I took care of that. And, uh, he'll be back soon. Do you have mealybugs? Is that why you asked? I don't have I know why I mean, <laughs> My plants do. <laughs> Did you know what they were before I was talking about it? Yes, I did. But you didn't know how to get rid of them. That's right. Well, now you know. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I um, don't want to get them all drunk. I just wondered if I, you know, for sure. Nothing I worse would. than a uh, drunk hollyhocks. Yes, I... I have piggybacks that have mealy, mealy bugs. What's a piggyback? <laughs> I finally found out something he doesn't know. Well, I don't, I don't know a great deal well, about plants. Well, I'm not going to take the time now. I'd rather know what you wanted to ask me. Well, I got something different for you tonight. No, you've been not with too us. different. No, this, there, was, there was a quiz in uh, Cosmopolitan magazine. Oh my God! <laughs> Name dropper. Uh, anyway, <laughs> you set up the greatest straight lines. Um, no, you know they come up with these silly things in Cosmopolitan. It's kind of a funky magazine, anyway. It certainly and it's, is. It's supposed to show how independent are you. So to, sh to show if you're your own person or do you to conform to what people think you should be. And it says, this test is designed to explore your personality with all its conflicting areas and so forth. And I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Uh, okay? And you have a choice. And they give you a choice of answers. You ready? Not really. We haven't gone over this at all, but I thought it might be fun. Now, at a party. Now, these are all theoretical. Naturally. Now, let's assume you can either be married or not married, depending on the circumstances of, of the question, okay? Right. It says, at a party, you meet a man who really attracts you. And you can tell he's interested, too. Then a friend takes you aside and says, let me tell you about that guy. He's bad news. Don't get involved. Now, you would... <laughs> Somebody just flew over. No. It's probably General Brown leaving the country. <laughs> uh, uh, Anyway, you would under, you'd, you'd start forgetting him, A, you've had enough trouble in your life, B, listen but reserve judgment, C, pay no attention, you like him, and her warnings are probably exaggerated. Oh, her warnings. Yeah, this is a girl who says that oh, man well, is trouble. Well, this did happen to me, and it was a he, and I went right ahead and married the guy, and it was Gary. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Now, there you are, you've been married 13 years. Right. So, you see, that you did the right thing. Right. All right, now, here's another one. Just, these are all theoretical. You've been married to, for several years to a man you're fond of, but you don't really love. Suddenly, just like in the movies, you fall madly in love with somebody, and he with you. You would thereupon, A, have a quiet, very discreet affair. B, ask your husband for a divorce. C, regretfully say goodbye. You couldn't bring yourself to wreck a good marriage because of a fit of passion. They're all theory, theory, of course. <laughs> The last one. <laughs> Regretfully, say goodbye. Psh. Hmm. All righty. Now, here's, here's an interesting one. I'm sorry to be so stodgy about it, but that's the way it is. Well, we'll give you another one where you don't have a choice to be so stodgy. Oh. <laughs> Two or possibly even three men. Of course, if I wasn't married to Gary, I might have a different idea, you know, different answers. But I'm married to Gary Martin. Yeah, but that's what, that's what's said. If, if you weren't particularly fond, and you're, you're in love with your husband, so that's uh, no good. But that was just a theory, you see. You must assume that you right. weren't married. Two or possibly even three men you like are pursuing you. You would, A, have affairs with all of them. B, this is cosmopolitan, folks. B, go out with them but not commit yourself sexually until you've singled out the one you like the most. C, choose the most plausible or attractive and have an affair with him first. 
Boy, I like all those choices. <laughs> those are, mm. Yeah, that's that's really a man's question. That really is. What do you now? You see right away. What do you mean that's a man's question? I meant just what I said. That's a man's question. In other words, it's I, three well, girls. I don't think like that. I don't know, S. Well, I, I can't answer that. Let's not. I'll answer that. That's a man's question. I'm a happily married woman. I can't. Those are tough for me. But you have to theorize that you're not. You see, you have to remove yourself from that. All right. Well, here's a now. Here's a night. I'm not going to answer that one. All right. Let's see. How would you feel about falling in love with a man who has several obvious faults? Well, I had a little bit of water. Oh, good. How would you feel about falling in love with a man who has several obvious faults and drawbacks? A, you'd accept the fact that he isn't perfect and hope to help him. <laughs> That's right. That never works. That's right. B, although you care for him, his defects would embarrass you and eat away the respect you felt for him and for yourself. C, if you'd loved him, you'd love the whole man, warts, dandruff, and all. <laughs> What the hell was the question? <laughs> How would you feel you about falling in love with what a man who has several question? faults and drawbacks? Uh, um, what about it? It just says, how would you feel about it? You'd accept the fact that he's not perfect and try to help him? Uh, Never again. In other words, you'd accept... You'd <laughs> 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 no, you mean... <laughs> you know, you mean You can do those same jokes about me, you know. I'm not going to try until no, I get can... my own show. You can... <laughs> you can give it to me Tuesday night on a special, right? What's Tuesday night? Isn't it your special Tuesday night? Yeah, but it's too late to give it to you. That's right. You've already taped, haven't you? And you've got it all yes. done. Yes. Have you ever written, have you ever thought of writing your autobiography? You've been interviewed millions and millions of times. Uh... Hmm? <laughs> Did they see that on camera? What are you doing? Now, what did you ask? <laughs> what was it you asked? <laughs> I'll never be able to take a drink of water. Where did you? I thought you were getting a drink of water and I was going to do the same bit and you... What did you ask me, John? Where did you... That what did was... you ask me? That must have been a GI dentist job, I want to tell you. I went to... The... Now, where did you, who, who put you up to that crazy thing? Oh, it's something I've had for years. <laughs> what you, are those? You don't mind these defects in women, do you? <laughs> if you really love someone. You love them. <laughs> what did you ask you, me, You'd John? love the whole person, but you'd sure have the lights out a lot, I'll tell you. <laughs> You get great hickeys from that. That is a oh, <laughs> permanent hickeys. <laughs> those what are did that, you ask me, John? I forgot. To, though I can't even look at you with those things. That is the You're strangest. You're gonna have to because I can't get them out anymore. This is it. The rest of your life. Now you got to wear those. All right, we got to take a break first and sell something here. Can you sit for a while? You have to leave. You got. Uh, oh, she's gonna. You got to go to something. The, to the work. dentist, obviously. <laughs> I wish you could think of what you asked me. Uh, take those things off. They, I, can't I can't look at you. I can't take them off. Well, they off. slip they're, over your... They're uh... in forever. Let me take a short break and we'll be right back. After uh... we fall. <laughs> 